Hello everyone. So after I did my unboxing and uh, first impressions of the Super Jenny cup yesterday, I had a couple requests to do some comparison videos and um, a capacity comparison, which I haven't haven't done yet, but I will be doing in this video. So thank you to some of my fellow cup users. Uh, Jenny and Julie who asked for these um, comparisons. I'm going to do the large flare cup as well as the large Sabelle cup for them. So thank you for those requests. So first of all here is my large flare cup and I just filled it just about to the top of the rim I um, did have a dome or a bubble created on the top, but like a glass of beer, I kind of swiped it off so that it wouldn't be overflowing. And I'm going to go ahead and dump it into the Super Jenny. Hopefully I don't spill. kind of awkward because I'm standing on the side of my camera here. I'm so awesome. No. <laughs> so here is the Super Jenny with the same amount of water that was inside of the flare cup and in this shot you can see that there's still some of the rim left before the water is sitting on the top of it of the cup and it is right underneath those section release holes and um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the camera and do a eye level shot so that you can see where the water level is sitting and I'm pretty sure it's just at that rim so I'm gonna stop the camera here and switch position okay so here I am and um, I'm trying to keep still but every time I talk of course I'm gonna move but this is eye level here and you can see that the water level moving on the inside is just at that rim right where that uh, suction release hole is and it is not leaking um, and in terms of a menstrual cup holding fluids here uh, the super jenny has a little bit more room than the flare room uh, flare cup does so it holds quite quite a bit i mean it it did state on their website that it holds a little over in ounce, I think it was 1.41 or something like that. I, I, I'm in my powder room, so I don't have a computer by me. Um, so it, it's a really good capacity cup. And I like that even when I pinch the bottom here and I make it come up the cup, it's not leaking out the holes. And I know I just commented on somebody uh, asking about uh, where to measure the capacity to the holes or to the rim and so I'm, I'm pressing on the cup right now and it's not leaking down any of the holes so I just wanted to mention that so I'm going to stop the video and then do the same thing with the Sabelle cup here is my large Sabelle cup and I guess I could have showed it to you first so it is a Sabelle um, I, I actually picked up the Lena cup on accident at first. Um, so there is uh, that little dome again that's created. I'm going to just go ahead and dump a little bit out because honestly I wouldn't be using my cup to that capacity. But I just want it um, kind of flush with the top without creating that dome. So here I have it and I put my Super Jenny cup on the other side of me. That was dumb. And again, I'm going to pour this Sabelle water that has a whole bunch of lint in it into the Super Jenny. And I didn't drip any. And here it is. And it looks about the same as the, the flare cup. Um, I'll go ahead and do a shot from an eye level. But again, you can see that there is some room left in the Super Jenny. So I'll pause this again and change my view. And here is the 
eye level view of the same amount of liquid that was in the Savelle cup compared to the Super Jenny cup. And again, it is right at the bottom of the rim here at the suction release holes. And I'll try to squeeze it again to make sure that the first time wasn't a fluke, that it didn't squeeze out of the holes here. So here I am squeezing. You can see that the water line is over the suction release holes and nothing is leaking. Um, since the Lena is new, I'll go ahead and do that as well. I'll do the water comparison between the Lena and the Super Jenny. So I'll be right back. Here's my Lena cup and I got quite a bit of a bubble here. So I'm going to go ahead again and um, dump some out. And it's sitting right at the top of the rim without having that bubble. And here's my Super Jenny. And it looks about the same as the other two. I, I don't, again, have any... Um, well, I didn't even bring my tablet in here, so I can't even look up to see if any of those other three cups were the same capacities, the uh, Flare Cup, Sabelle Cup, and, and the uh, Lena Cup, but um, I don't know, did you need me to do another eye level? It's the same. It It's the same, just believe me. <laughs> um, and I'll also do a squish test between all three of those cups compared to the Super Jenny because I know that Julie asked for um, a firmness test. So I'll go ahead and stop the camera now and uh, do that. Oh, what happened to the light? Okay, light. Okay, so I hope you can see this okay because the lights are giving me a problem right now and I think that the gloss from my avocado <laughs> walls um, are casting some reflection off of it so it's kind of getting all weird. Anyhow this is the large flare cup and here is my Super Jenny and uh, the flare is on the left and I'll go ahead and do just the back of the cups inside the flare cup and inside the Super Jenny and also let me fidget so that I could get the rims and I do want to mention that um, the Super Jenny does get a little more firm as you go up the cup. So down here is really soft. And right about here I can start to feel uh, some resistance. There is no secondary rim line. Uh, well, usually bell cups don't have that secondary rim line, but I do feel um, a little thickness or getting a little thicker just about right here. Um, so maybe a three quarters of a way up the the cup I could feel that uh, the silicone does get a little more firm um, or a little more thick also so the and then the the rim is actually pretty thick you can see it there compared to the flare cup so let me pause this and get uh, the Sibel. So here's my Sibel size large and here's a different lighting again. I, I don't know, I didn't touch anything and now the lighting is completely different. 
So here's the Super Jenny. And again, you can see how thick the rim is on that Super Jenny compared to the Sabelle cup. So just the back of the cups. Inside of the Sabelle. And inside of the Super Jenny. Hi. Hi, Mimi. And the rims. Oops. I see my doggy, one of my doggies. Mimi! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pause it and get the Lena cup. Here's my large Lena cup. I think that's just a water droplet in there. And. <laughs> Here is my Super Jenny. And here are the back of the cups inside the Lena and inside of the Super Jenny. And also the rims. These lines that you see right here, oh my camera, <laughs> on the Super Jenny are the uh, suction release holes. It, it looks like there's a seam there, but it's not the seam. Actually, there might be the seam there, but they finished off the seams really, really nicely. Um, I, I can't feel them, so... Um, I did mention that in another video. I'm trying to see if I think those were the the seam lines that were brushed down. Um, I do want to say that the Lena cup is a really really firm cup, um, in my opinion, and I really need to redo my softest to firmest cup video because I have several cups that were not featured in that video, but. Um, just feeling it, I think that it would probably be the third most firmest cup that I have on hand. Uh, so it would be the Lena cup, and then the Lunette, and then the Yuki cup. Um, so it is a, a firm cup, and I haven't even gotten to try it yet. Um, I, I did wash both of these cups to do a dry run today, and I, I ended up talking to one of the owners of the Anakin Company for a couple hours so I haven't haven't done anything yet <laughs> I haven't done anything I was supposed to even from yesterday because I was playing with cups anyhow um, so there you go there's the comparison of the um, the the flare cup the Sabelle cup and the super Jenny cup thank you to my fellow cup users um, again Jenny and Julie uh, for this request. I'll see you guys later.